I don't know. You get to learn. You learn to have a bit of a thick skin, but um, it was unusual. I mean, he was sitting right up at the front, and he was like holding up. There, there, there he is. Yeah, there's the guy. Hey, there, there he is. This is the guy. What? What? Well, do you want to see? It's out there on Facebook. It's all to see. So, um, my name is Skip Myers. Yes, Alaska Landmine put it out. That's 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 us. Yeah. Okay, on, it's a Facebook. Page. We didn't we didn't put your name though. We just took the picture. Oh, my name's on there. We didn't put your name on there. Well, somebody did. It wasn't wasn't us? But I mean, it is a public meeting, so. Well, you go here. Here we go. So a man in the front row of the assembly holding an invitation to start a start date, taunting assembly member Forrest Dunbar, who is Jewish. That was taken way out of context. Oh, no, no, you were you were holding it up and you kept going again. Save it for the you kept no. get me get all it up. No, no. See, flash the flash the picture. Line. A man at the front row of the Anchorage Assembly oh, taunts a who is Jewish with a star date. Skip, did you did you flash, 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 flash can, 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 you, can you let, let me finish? Shortly after this, this photo was taken, a man giving testimony called assembly member Christopher Johnston a cocksucker. That's true. It is true. Absolutely. That wasn't you. That wasn't you. But it's added to the same thing. The assembly audience broke into sustained cheering and applause. APD has made multiple arrests, including the arrest of one man with a fire. Tonight, I asked APD out here, those four people arrested, taken away in, in, in handcuffs. They were arrested out there in the lobby. Tonight's meeting may go down as the most chaotic assembly meeting in recent history. Mm -hmm. Now your question, sir. Yeah, I mean, none of the things you said in there was factually inaccurate. You were one of those things. I'm not saying you did all of them. But you were holding up your, your Absolutely. star, David, you kept pointing at me. And what point you flashed me in the eye? I, did, I was, no, I was not pointing at you. Absolutely not. Nope. Absolutely not. That's absolutely false. Do you know that she got a pen? It's a pen. Um, there, I gave away half a dozen pens tonight that have a light on. Now they've got a stylus on them. They, they can write. It's got a good weight and, and, and all kinds of things. So if you and pointing at me and trying to make eye contact and going like this towards me. What were you trying to communicate to you? It was not anti-Semitism, I will tell you that right now. I mean, okay, what was it? I mean, it was taking away our personal freedoms just like they did in Nazi Germany. And those people, those Jewish people, that went to gas chambers as being all of their civil rights and all of their civil liberty absolutely destroyed. Now, they went to the gas chamber and burned to death. That is not anti-Semitic. That is me pointing out a very real fact that most people have absolutely forgotten about. Uh, look, uh, so Yad Vashem, other Jewish leaders have said, please don't make this, com this com comparison because it minimizes what happened. There is no comparison. I, I agree. So you, you're, you're comparing, you know, I am not. mass mandates and things like that towards no. the eradication of no. Jews. No, no. Then why are you hearing it in this particular meeting? Listen, why are you questioning it towards me? You, you, you leftists have no ability to hear reason. Zero. I just told you that my statement was not an anti-Semitic statement. Did I or did I not say that? So you know, did I or did I not say that? You said it, but I'm telling you why it is. No, you are telling me. You are dictating to me what I said. So what I'm saying is, your statement, comparing your, your, your behavior, comparing with the Jewish star, the Holocaust, to a mask mandate that's a public safety measure for everyone, Minimizes the suffering of the Jewish people. No, nope, I'm and not saying. Look, nope. You, but no, I, no, I'm not. I'm not saying you intend that. But I'm saying that's what it does, and that's what I try to communicate to you. That's what other Jewish leaders are trying. You are to dictating to. me to, to 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 what I'm 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 trying to portray here, which is you are absolutely one hundred percent false. That is an absolute one hundred percent false. But statement. you agree the Holocaust is in no way similar to a mass murder. Oh no, it's 100% similar. Absolutely. Our, our civil liberties are being destroyed. The, the Alaska State Constitution, the U.S. Constitution are absolutely violated with these mass mandates. And I will prove that through my testimony. It was supposed to be tonight, it was supposed to be last night. It's going to be, hopefully, tomorrow night or the night thereafter. So the purpose of those, those stars of David that you brought up, that you were flashing towards me, was to make a comparison between the Holocaust and mass mandates. Yeah. Correct. Yes, absolutely. And, and also, for us, I have a question. I, you know, I think it, I, I don't know what history you know about that. I don't want to be recorded. I don't know what history you know about that. But the, in the mandate, it says that people are supposed to spy on each other. That's exactly what they did in Nazi Germany. 
we're trying to get people lot, to remember that history repeats itself and if you don't learn the lessons it repeats and it's usually worse the second time so we're what, trying we, to say stop we don't need to suffer anymore so perhaps i can help you guys understand why this public health measure is not like the holocaust so the Holocaust had very, had very specific, the Holocaust and what led up to the Holocaust, things like Crystal Knot, which you've probably heard of, the other things that took away specifically Jewish property and other undesirables like, you know, communists who, uh, who people have mentioned here and homosexuals, people like that were also targeted by the Nazi regime. They were specific measures designed to disenfranchise those distinct, discrete minorities, right? What we're talking about is a broad-based health policy for everyone. You know, we want everyone, except for those who really physically can't do it or have a religious exemption, to use this thing to hopefully slow down the spread of this, this deadly disease. The things that were done, the things that were done to the Jewish people and to other people during the Holocaust weren't based on any public safety or public health rationale. They were done based on bigotry and humor and white nationalism. Would, would you like to know a piece of information about myself? My franchise, I have two businesses. My franchise was reported tonight for anti-Semitic thought. Now, that's coming under you because that is you and me going at this. You he, he, well, that. no, he, you, you, no, did, you, no, you were doing that. We took a picture this is a in a public camera. forum. Yeah, that's me in a public okay. forum. Okay. And you were pointing at him, pointing, you were doing this back and forth you, with the star. I mean, we did that, do, yes. Do, have you followed, he didn't do that. Have you followed every single thing coming under that? I reported at least two dozen different people as hate speech, we, we, as harassment. We didn't even put your name. We just took pictures. I don't care what we, we didn't. They're pointing me out specifically. But you did something in a public forum, in a public setting where you. I did nothing illegal. We didn't say it was illegal. We, I, no one said that. It is not. No. Bullshit! It is not. A, a lot of people thought. It was incredibly appropriate you, you, to you, taunt me you, with nope. the Jewish Star of David. You're full of shit. You are absolutely I'm full of sorry, fucking man, shit. Sorry, man. Just calm down a little bit. Nope. Let's talk a little bit. Man, that guy was. Oh. Yeah. That was. I got that on live stream. That was. That was a moment. Anyways, Forrest Dumber, um, thanks for the interview, and I guess we got to get out of here, but we'll see yeah, you tomorrow. I'm sorry, we, we got uh, a lot. That got pretty here. pretty heated there, so they're asking me to leave, so I got to get out of here. Right, but right, thanks. Well, that was uh, pretty intense. Got to get my stuff and get out of here, but uh, stay tuned for more tomorrow night, folks. Uh, assembly chambers.